Greetings, New York Thrifter here, and today I'm going to be going through a video that explains how I decide on where to list a piece, either on Poshmark or eBay. Now, before I get started, I want to say that there are a lot of people that are listing on both platforms. They do what you call a cross post where they will put an item on both eBay as well as Poshmark. Wherever it sells first, they will then sell to that buyer and then they will take it down on the other platform. Um, I prefer not to cross post and the reason for that is I'm really worried about selling an item twice and getting into trouble with a buyer. So for me, it's just a lot easier to decide where I'm gonna take the item, put it up and sell it in one place. Another reason I do this is because photographing an item for the two separate outlets are very different. On eBay, I like to photograph things on a white background, very clear pictures of what I'm selling with only that item in the picture. Now on Poshmark, flat lays are a lot more popular where you style your pieces with some other fashion design. So for example, if you're going to be selling a skirt, you might put in a necklace and some heels to show how you would wear the skirt or what you would wear the skirt with. Now you really can't do that on eBay. And the reason for that is any buyer on eBay is going to assume that they're going to get in the mail whatever is in that picture. And so obviously you're not able to use any different items to style what you're, what you're listing. So again, let's talk about Poshmark and eBay. Now we're starting out and I've got these two pieces. This is an Ann Taylor sweater and this is an Ann Taylor loft sweater. Now the reason I have these laid out is because one of them will do better on Poshmark. And the reason for that is with this loft piece, it's an off-white sweater with lace detailing, and there's not a whole lot to catch your eye. Now, it is a beautiful piece and something that somebody might want to wear to the office, but if you're going on to Posh and you're scrolling through your feed, something like this might not jump out at you right away. But this Ann Taylor piece that has a very bright pattern with beautiful colors and a mod design with, you know, the dots and the stripes, that is very arresting and that can definitely get somebody's attention. So because Poshmark is such a visual medium, if you do have a piece with a lot of design elements that looks very exciting visually, it could be a really good place to list your item. So just to expand on that a little bit, I have a few more pieces I wanted to go through. The first one up is going to be this joie shirt. And this is a silk shirt done in a um, really great pattern in a bright orange color. Again, this is going to immediately grab the viewer's attention because of the color and because of the design. So this would be something that would do really well on Posh. And for my last example, I wanted to show this piece. And this is an Anna Sui dress. She's a designer that sells through um, anthropology as well as some other different outlets. And so the reason I wanted to show this silk dress is because it's got a lot of things going for it. Uh, first of all, it's got a great handkerchief hem. So you've got movement down here in a picture that would pick up really well. You've got a beautiful floral design in all different colors and also some dots in a vibrant green. So again, Somebody scrolling through their feed would definitely want to stop on this piece and take another look just because there is so much going on and it is such an interesting piece. Something else that really seems to get the buyer's attention on Poshmark are some fashion forward pieces, which is why I grabbed this to show you. This is a Tove or Tov Los Angeles shirt. It is in denim. And the reason I wanted to go through this is because of the sleeves. Look at these sleeves. They are bell sleeves to the max. They are absolutely gorgeous. And when you're looking at Poshmark, it does tend to attract a younger crowd and a more fashion forward crowd. And so this takes a lot of guts to pull off. Not everyone's going to want to wear a sleeve that that's, it's that large. Um, but if your buyer is looking for something out of the ordinary, unusual that they, you know, won't see a lot with their friends. This could be the perfect piece that they're looking for. So if you find something that's a little more daring fashion wise, it could be a good idea to think about Poshmark. And now that we've gone through 
a couple of the pieces that might do well, let's talk about two pieces where I wouldn't necessarily want to list on Posh. Instead, I would go to eBay. So up first, we have this J. Jill tunic. It's a black tunic top. Now, J. Jill tends to be what you can consider a, a little bit more mature brand. You're looking at a buyer that's probably going to be in their 30s plus, and a lot more of those buyers you're going to find on eBay than you are on Poshmark. This is not something that's necessarily very daring. It's definitely a staple to have in your wardrobe, but it's not something that's going to visually pop and stand out. It's something more if you're looking to... Uh, you know, if you maybe have one of these pieces and it's worn out and you're looking for another one, you could go onto eBay and find it. But it's not something as you're looking through a bunch of different tops that's maybe going to jump out and grab you. The second piece is an Eileen Fisher. And we all know in the resale world that Eileen does very well reselling. Now, this is a wool open cardigan in a deep red color. And the great thing about this piece is it's going to sell pretty well wherever you take it. Uh, you're probably going to be able to get $40 plus for a piece like this, and you'd be able to get that on either Poshmark or eBay. However, the difference is how fast is it going to sell? With a piece like this, with an Eileen Fisher, you're going to have a lot more people that are going to be on eBay looking for this sweater than on Posh. Another question that I tend to get asked a lot is how do plus sizes do on Poshmark? So I've got this torrid top. This is a great example of a beautiful plus size piece. And as you can see, it is a peplum style top. Here, let me. There we go. It is a peplum style top with a really great design. Um, however, it is in a 1X, and the reason why I say that Poshmark might not be the place to take this isn't that there aren't plus-size uh, buyers on Poshmark, because there absolutely are. But Poshmark has only recently been including a lot of attention towards these plus-size plus size buyers. Uh, for example, they didn't necessarily have that selection in their drop-down menus until very recently. And also where they have the posh parties where a lot of users get together and they share things out of their closets, they haven't started having a plus size party on posh until very recently in the last few months. So there's just going to be less buyers for this size on Poshmark. eBay, as we know, has been around for decades and there are many, many more plus size buyers in that venue. So that's why um, you absolutely can list your plus sizes on Posh and they definitely can sell, but you're probably gonna have a much faster return if you take it over to eBay. Okay, so now that we've gone through a little bit of the nitty gritty on what sells and what might not sell on the two on uh, Poshmark and eBay, I want to give you some concrete examples of how I go about deciding where I'm going to list my item. So I want to start with some pants. Over here, we've got some polka dot jeans from Kate Spade. Kate Spade Saturday line, that's her uh, less expensive brand, but these are really great small size, size 27 jeans in polka dot. And over here, I've got a twill trouser from Vince. Let me show you that tag. And this is new with tags from Vince. I purchased this at TJ Maxx. I got it on sale for $15. It's got the cuffed hems, which are really cute, and that's in a size zero. So what I'm going to do is I am going to go onto my computer and I am going to look up comps or comparisons for both of these pants on both eBay as well as Poshmark. And when I do, I'm going to be able to see how much sold on both venues went for. I'm going to be able to find out how fast things sold. So it'll tell me, am I going to be making my return back quickly? So I'm going to pause now, go over to my computer, and I will show you exactly how you find comparisons so you know how to price your item and you know which platform you want to list your item on. Okay, so the first search that we're going to do is for the Kate Spade Saturday print jeans. Now, when I'm looking these up, what I want to do is I want to go down and I want to just look at the sold listings. 
And the reason for that is anybody can list anything they want on eBay or uh, many of these platforms for anything. They can want, you know, a thousand dollars for a pair of jeans. That doesn't necessarily mean they're going to get it. So let's scroll down. A couple things that you want to pay attention to is the type of jean as well as the price. And finally, the sold date. Uh, these sold dates are going to be very important because if something similar to a piece that you have hasn't been sold for a very long time, this could mean a couple of things. It could mean that there's not a big need for it, not a lot of people are purchasing it, but it can also mean that not a lot of these are available and the scarcity can actually uh, you know, bring up that price in certain cases. So why don't we scroll through a little bit of these and see some average prices. Now these are new with tags. Ours are not new. So I'm going to go down to some of the used jeans. Here's a print for $20. Another print for 10. Flowers for 10. And these are just some plain. Here's some polka dots for 19. Or actually, I'm sorry, those are apples rather than polka dots. Here's some more flowers for 20. So here we can get a pretty good idea. This is uh, back in the beginning of February. Uh, so we scrolled through um, you know, over a month worth of different uh, pieces and we can see that $20 is pretty much an average price for these Kate Spade jeans or similar Kate Spade jeans. So now I'm gonna go to Poshmark. I'm gonna type in There we go, the print jeans. Now on Poshmark, you can also look at solds. You just wanna scroll down here and under availability, click on sold. So here you're gonna find different print jeans that have sold. 30, 25, 14, 49 for those same Apple uh, jeans that we saw on uh, the other site. 20, 20, and this is 12. Now, if you wanna see how fast these jeans are selling, there is a way that you can do this. It's not perfect, but if you click on a listing, you'll see by scrolling down when it was updated. Now, something doesn't necessarily have to be updated in order to sell, so these dates could be off, but for um, argument's sake, let's just say that the last time it was updated was in May. So that means May of last year was probably uh, when this was when this was sold. So that's a pretty long time ago. Um, you can check out if you're not happy with uh, that date, if you want to check out another date. So four pants ago that sold was on September 23rd. So what I would say here is it looks like the price on Posh is a little bit better than the price you would be getting on eBay by about maybe $5 or so. However, the sales rate on it is so low that it looks like it takes months and months to sell jeans or these kinds of jeans on Poshmark. So in this particular case, I would say that eBay probably looks like a better bet. Okay, so now let's check on the uh, Vince pants. So I'm gonna type in Vince Trouser New. Go down to make sure we're in the, the sold listings. Excellent, okay. So now these are some size 10 that sold for $40 very recently on the 10th. That's Vince Camuto. Again, that's a different brand, so we don't wanna look at that. These are some beige new pants that sold for $40. Vince that sold for 75. This was $40, but then they took a best offer, so they probably got maybe 10 to 20% less than that $40. We're not gonna look at leather because those are totally different. That's Vince Camuto. Okay, so what I'm seeing here is there's been uh, quite a bit of movement. We're still in the March sold, so there's quite a bit of movement on these new Vince pants on this site. Uh, this pair with a uh, line down the side uh, went for $75. Okay, so these are commanding pretty great prices, actually.
Okay, great. So now that we looked at that, let's go on to Posh. We are going to type in Vince Trouser New. Okay, we're going to go back to our sold listings and let's see what we have. Now, remember, anytime you have a graphic right here, new with tags, that of course means new with tags. These are some joggers. Here is a new with tags, Vince, that sold for $45. Let's see when this sold. That was in February, so that was just last month. Okay, new with tags, sold for $25. These are joggers. Some wool dress trousers for $39. Sailor trousers for 50. These were new with tags. Let me see when they were sold. That was in November. So that was the end of last year. So what I'm seeing from here is, again, you might get a little bit more money um, out of uh, your, your listing on Poshmark, but it seems like it would take a little bit more time. So really here's a situation where you need to think to yourself, is the extra five, 10, maybe even $20, is it worth it to go onto a platform where you're gonna be able to sell for faster on eBay for a, probably a little bit less money? Or would you like to go onto Poshmark, list it, and then you know share and promote your listing and eventually sell it for a little bit more money? It's completely up to the user what they wanna do, but it's certainly something to think about. Okay, so now that we did some pants, I have two different dresses here that I wanna go through. The first is a J. Crew size 12 dress, and it is in a stunning floral design, which is a silk dress, really gorgeous. So I'm gonna go on again to both Poshmark as well as eBay. Look at solds for this dress. I can find this exact dress on both outlets, and the way I do that is I look right here. Any J. Crew that has been released in about the last five years is gonna have a style number. So I'm going to go on Google, I'm going to type in that style number along with the uh, term J. Crew, and I'm going to find the exact name of this piece, and I'm going to look that up on eBay and Poshmark to see where it sells for more money. And the second dress that I grabbed is going to be this Free People. Now, Free People is one of the best-selling designers on Poshmark, and so you really want to think about going to Posh for that. Now the reasons are Free People is incredibly fashion forward. As you can see, this is a very cute little boho chic uh, dress that would be perfect for somebody that's going to a party or maybe they're going to a festival. It tends to be right on trend. Uh, a lot of people really respect the brand and know the brand, so it's something they're searching for. And Again, this is a younger style, and so you're going to be finding a lot more of that younger crowd on Poshmark. So to look up these dresses, the first thing we're going to do is we are going to find out which J. Crew dress we have. So what I'm doing is I'm typing in the style number, which is 61607. And when I do that, I find out that the dress is an... Jewel's dress in Ashberry floral. So I'm going to copy the name of the dress. It originally sold at $188 at J. Crew, and it is now sold out. So I'm gonna copy the name of that dress. I'm gonna go right onto eBay. I'm gonna put in J. Crew here. Okay, I'm going to scroll down to sold listings. And it looks like we have one that was sold for 20. That's in a size zero, zero. One that took a best offer. So probably about 20% off of $45 size zero. Here is a size four, a best offer taken at below a hundred and a size two, a uh, best offer was taken at 40. So, this is really important to know because we're looking at some really small sizes here, but some really great, uh, great selling, uh, selling prices. This is really fun because I didn't realize uh, Drew Barrymore apparently wore this dress uh, when she was on a, uh, a talk show of some, some sort. 
So now that we know about the price that these super small dresses sell for on eBay, I'm going to go over to Poshmark. I'm going to type in J. Crew, and then the name of the dress. And I'm going to scroll down to sold. Okay, so we've got lots that have sold on here. Uh, size 8, which is much closer to what we have, sold for 70 we have this size 12 that sold for 40. Let's click on this. And we see that this sold in October. So that was quite a few months ago. Okay, so it looks like for this size, uh, here's 45, 35, 40. Uh, for this size and this design, it looks like uh, eBay might be the better choice. And the reason I say that is it looks like we can get about the same price, but these solds happen a little bit faster than on the other site. This is um, two sold in February, one is already sold in March. So if we can get the same, hopefully $40 plus, we could probably get it for a little bit faster if we went on to eBay. So now let's look at the free people dress we have. So we have a free people black and white dress. Okay, I am going to come down here to sold listings. We're on sold. So we've got, ooh, that's really cool, a long one. Now we've got a short dress, so we definitely want to be looking at the shorter uh, hemlines. This is $49. This is a new, so we don't want to necessarily be looking at the new. Those will command much higher prices. One thing that we can do is we can go up to here, and in the condition notes, in the sidebar, we can click on used. So it will only show us used clothing. Okay, $25 for this, $10 for this, a best offer for this one under $40. 10 three dollars or less than three dollars i should say and this is interesting this is one of the reasons i actually don't do a lot of auctions because you can see this was a bid so people bid this to two dollars and 54 cents uh, if you would have this on a buy it now with best offer you probably could have um, received a lot more money for that so that's just such a low bid that that's a, a little bit painful we've got a 12 dollar dress 11 dollars nine dollars twelve twenty six ten so what we're looking at is uh some of them range to higher prices like this one's 19. so that is that is good this one is 25 percent or 25 dollars with the best offer accepted but we do have a lot of these nine dollars and below as well so this is a classic case of what we call uh, pricing being all over the place where there's no uh, real set number that you're going to be able to expect from a dress like this. It's kind of, uh, you know, question mark what you put on it and what your uh, buyers are going to be looking for. So let's go over to Poshmark and see if we can get some better answers. Let's go free people, black, white dress. And I am going to scroll down to the solds. Okay, we've got some good ones here. So this is, let's see, find art. Okay, this one is a t-shirt dress for $50. So that commands a pretty great price. Here's a $12 dress, 44. I'm just trying to point out the ones that, that are, you know, kind of similar to one we have. Here's 29, here's 40, 50, 40, 14. Ooh, this one looks very similar to ours. This one sold for 25. So what it looks like to me is the prices that you can get on Poshmark for a black and white free people dress tend to be a lot higher than what you'd be able to command on eBay. But what we also want to do is we also want to see how fast uh, something will sell because as we saw on eBay, uh, things were selling very quickly. So let's, let's find out. Um, let's go to the top. So this is four. 8, 12, 13, 14, so 15 dresses in. This sold on March 1st, which is still this month. So that tells me that um, 
this is pretty good. I actually, I actually like this. I think that the, uh, the turnaround for that is, is good enough to wear. I do think for this particular dress, Poshmark looks like a real win. Now that we've gone through a couple ex of expensive brands, I also want to talk about less expensive brands and where you should think about posting those. So these are two pieces that I have. Uh, one is a shorts and one of us a skirt. And this first one is a divided, which is H&M. And you can see it is new with tags, those H&M H &M tags. Originally it was $24.95. And I really like the skirt because it has a great heart design on it. And I think that really makes it stand out. Now, a second piece that I have is a Cynthia Rowley. This is a piece that you would probably be able to pick up at a Marshalls, a Ross, or a TJ Maxx. Uh, she sells a lot of her clothes through those outlets now. And this is a great little pair of lace shorts, perfect for the summer. So both of these pieces sold originally for under $30. So the resale value is not going to be terrifically high because in most cases, the lower amount something is sold new, the less you're going to be able to get online when you're reselling it. So what I want to do is I want to go onto both Poshmark as well as eBay and see um, the different ways you can sell these and to see which one fits your business model the best. Okay, so let's see how much we can get for these a uh, little bit lower end brands. The first thing I'm going to do is go onto eBay, type in H&M divided, if I could spell, heart skirt. Oh, and this is new, so I do want to type in new as well. That's going to change the prices up. So now scroll down to my sold listings. Let's see, these are a little different. I'm not seeing the exact skirt or even anything quite the same. But after I'm looking at some of these uh, skirts, what I am seeing is a pretty low selling price for H&M &H divided skirts in general. $1.50, $1.25, $5, 99, 99, 99. So those are pretty low. Here's a new with tags for $14.99, so that's better. Here is a new with tags for 75 cents. So these prices look to be pretty low. This one has hearts on it, and this did sell for $6, so that's a little bit better. Let me see if I got rid of the heart. I'm wondering, we're probably just going to get, yeah, pretty much the same. Okay. So it, it does look like the, the selling price for this brand on uh, eBay is not phenomenal. So let's go to Poshmark to see if we can do a little bit better. H&M divided heart skirt. Okay. So at least we're seeing it. This is definitely ours. I also want to type in new there to see if that makes a difference. So let's go to sold. Okay. And I'm not really seeing the skirts anymore. Here is an H&M divided bird skirt for $12 that sold. Here's a skater skirt that sold for $10. Let's see when this sold. And this was February 2nd, so that was last month. So that's not too bad of a turnaround time. Let me get rid of that new in there and see what comes up. Now remember, you always have to go back down to sold when you're listing on Poshmark, or when you're looking at prices on Poshmark, excuse me. Okay, so it looks like there has been four of these similar skirts that have sold, 12, 6, 10, and 7. So again, not super high prices, but we have to remember, first of all, none of these are new with tags, so we could theoretically list ours for more. So for me, and looking at this, I would say it looks like Poshmark could be the, uh, the better bet for this particular piece. So now let's look at our Cynthia Raleigh lace shorts. Okay, let's make sure I'm on sold, yes. And I'm also going to put on used because these are used. So this one was sold for $9. And these 
oh, lace pattern, but these are exactly the same and they sold for $9. So that's really good. Let's see what the new condition sold for. So even when they're new with tags, $10, um, that's the $6 new with tags. This is uh, $14.99 new with tags. So it's looking like, you know, again, kind of a lower price point, especially for the solds. Um, okay, so let's go over to Poshmark. We're looking for Cynthia Raleigh Lace Shorts. We're going to scroll down. We're going to find solds. Okay, this is new with tag for 12 these do not have the lace on it. This has the uh, lace for $5, the lace for eight, six. Those are new. This is uh, 20. Let's see when these 20 sold, April. So that was a year ago. Okay, so now this is actually um, something that I wanna talk about a little bit. Is listing something gonna be worth your time? So for these particular shorts, I picked them up, I believe at the bins, the Goodwill outlet, which I probably spent around 75 cents for them. If I listed them on either site, it looks like the most I could get for them is probably $10 and that would be a lucky $10 to get. It's probably going to be even less than that. Um, I might have to, you know, also uh, drop the shipping and pay more in shipping just because um, you know, with such an inexpensive item, if I listed it on eBay, uh, the buyer would probably expect to be, have a pretty cheap shipping, like maybe probably $1.99, if not less. So you really need to think to yourself, if you bought it for 75 cents, and let's say we put a uh, dollar in for shipping, plus you have your time on listing, and then we list it for $9, maybe somebody makes an offer for seven. Seven of that dollars, uh, we pay 15% in fees between eBay and PayPal. So you have to think to yourself, uh, making the skirt or making the shorts presentable and taking photos and then taking the time to list them on eBay, is that really worth your time? And for these particular ones, I would probably say no. They're probably not worth my time. So what I'm gonna do is, I know some people that will redonate their things if it's not, uh, if they don't deem it worthy of, of listing, whether there is a flaw with it or something's wrong with it, or if they just don't want to take the time to list it, oh, what they'll do is they'll donate it back to a thrift store. What I'm going to do is I'm going to be um, doing some experimenting with sending in some different pieces to online outlets that take, um, you know, kind of consignment. Uh, for example, the two that I'm looking at right now are ThreadUp and Swap.com. So in the future, I am going to be doing some videos on these to showing everybody what you can expect and how much money um, you know you can expect to, for the return. But for right now, I would say these Cynthia Rowley uh, shorts would probably be best served if I just sent them in, let somebody else post them, let somebody else sell them. And so I definitely will get my 75 cents back, at least I'm assuming I will, but uh, probably not a tremendous profit. So that's what we'll be doing with those. Okay, now we're going to a little bit more of the expensive brands again with these two pieces. The first up is gonna be a Diane von Furstenberg, great designer, and this is a beautiful summer top, very flowy, very oversized. The second top is going to be this Equipment Femme. And this is an incredibly expensive brand if you bought it new. And this is one of their best-selling items, which is a longer button-down style top. And it is in a bright yellow. I'm not sure if the camera's picking it up, but it is absolutely vibrant in real life. So again, oh, one last time, I am going to be going onto eBay and onto Poshmark. I'm going to be looking up comparisons for both these pieces and I'm going to show you uh, what the better deal would be for you if you had these pieces where you would want to list these and again the reason why I want to focus on this is because there's a lot of people out there that might not want to cross post or they might not know which outlet they want to sell on or want to sell a specific piece on and what goes better for which so I really want to get into the nitty-gritty of finding those solds and really logically thinking through where the best place would be 
to post those items. Okay, we are on our last go around and this time we have two shirts. Both are from Expensive Designers. Diane Von Furstenberg print top. I'm gonna type that in. I'm gonna scroll down to the solds and I'm gonna look to see if I can find something comparable to what I have. Now, I think now is a really good time to talk a little bit about comps or comparisons. I've had some people ask me questions on my videos. You know, I can't find this exact top or this exact dress. What do you recommend? And what I recommend is I try finding something that I would consider pretty similar um, in similar sizes in uh, the same maybe cut or design. So if you are looking up a mini skirt, don't think that a comparable in the same brand is gonna be a maxi skirt because those are, you know, can have two very different price points. So for this uh, Diane von Furstenberg top, I would say this is actually pretty close to what we have. It's a very vibrant summery print that's a little, you know, boxy. You know, obviously it's different. It's got the sleeves are a little bit different, but it is it is close. And so and it's silk. And so this sold for thirty nine dollars on March 8th, which just happened. So that's kind of a brand new sold. Now, this is absolutely close to what we have. This is a very similar cut with kind of a sleeveless uh, look to it. This sold for $6 and 50 cents. And I actually kind of wish I was online during that because I would have definitely paid a lot more than 650 for that Diane piece. Okay. Um, still scrolling through. This is pretty close to what we have. Uh, this sold for $20 on March 4th. Okay. This is another one that's pretty close sold for $27 on March 1st. So we're seeing some pretty uh, regular sales of Diane von Furstenberg shirts, but we're seeing them for maybe around, you know, $30, which I wish you could get more for a Diane because we, you know, you buy these new and they sell for a lot more. So let's see if we were gonna go and list it on Posh. what some of the solds are going to be. So I'm going to scroll right to here for solds. Okay, so let's try to find some cute flowy summer ones. This is pretty pretty similar at $22. Here's one for 15. We've got this one for 35. Let's see how when this one sold. Uh, February 5th, so that was going to be last month. Here's a $30 one. This one is $89, so this one had a really great sale price. And the cut on this is, again, very similar to the one that we have. Okay. So it looks like the price is, it's not really demanding uh, that high of a price. Every once in a while, you'll get one that does have a great sale price on. This one, for example, is new with tags. So that sold for 50. Let's see what this one, this one is an absolutely gorgeous picture there, isn't it? That's really nice. That might be a stock photo because I'm looking, they have some other stock photos that they're using here. And then she does put this on. But in the end of December, that sold for $69. So, wow, that is phenomenal. Great picture. Okay, so as we see, it sells for probably about the same amount of money, but it sells much faster on eBay. So for this particular piece, I would say it looks like eBay uh, probably is the way to go. So for our final comparison lookup, we're going to be looking at Equipment Femme button down. So click on that on eBay. And here we go. A best offer was accepted for under 40. And I'm trying to find the solid. This is another one for $40. $40. $40. Okay, so this is, you know, pretty much telling you how much these kinds of shirts go for. Now ours is in a yellow. Oh, which might make it uh, worth a little bit less because sometimes if you have 
uh, either a black and white or neutral, that can do really well. Or if you have a crazy print, that can do very well. The middle of the road, like a yellow or a blue, might not uh, be something somebody's searching for as much. So we might not get quite that. Now this one that sold for $11, again, I wish I was online because that was a great deal to get it for $11. This one, which has a little bit of a um, stripe to it, sold for 64. But I would say on average, we're looking for a solid, uh, solid in this shirt sells for about $40 and it sells very often because I'm scrolling through and we're still in March here for solds. If you look over here at the solds, March. So here is the Equipment Femme uh, button down, $39.95. So that looks like it's pretty much the selling point on, on eBay. Now for Poshmark, we're gonna go down and click on Sold. Okay, we have got a pink for $50. This is a purple short sleeve for 42. A white for 34. Another white for 42. Oh, here is kind of a very, very light uh, kind of mint color that sold for 70. Let's see when this sold. That was November 25th, so that was last year. So we definitely don't have the turnover on Poshmark like we do on eBay for these. So it is, you know, going to depend on what you think. There is a possibility that you could get a lot more on Poshmark. For example, this forest green shirt sold for $75. That is much higher than the $40 sale point on eBay. But that sold in September. So do you want to wait that long for a possibility of getting, you know, probably maybe 30 more dollars. Um, you might, that that could be your, your plan. I probably won't. I'm probably gonna list this on eBay and um, get $40 for it and then use that $40 to reinvest and buy more things and, and keep the, uh, the circle of buying going. So that's what I see for, for uh, my item. So I wanna thank everyone for hanging with me, going through, looking up uh, comparisons for different pieces, looking up pricing and uh, sales times on both Poshmark and eBay. If you have any questions for me, please feel free to leave them down in the comments. I love hearing from you. Uh, you can also find me over on Instagram at New York Thrifter, and I will be talking with you soon. I've got a big new project coming up. I'm going to be doing some major listing on Poshmark just so I can give sellers a better idea if they do want to use Poshmark and what they can expect. So definitely uh, look out for that video coming to you soon.